Hey everyone, Victor here, Director and Lean Engineer of Charging Systems and Energy Storage Solutions at Atlas Motor Vehicles. And today I want to talk about charging standards, DC charging standards specifically. Move a little bit more. So in the last video, we talked about combined charging systems known as CCS and megawatt charging systems known as MCS. I want to talk about CCS briefly for a moment here. Uh, and the standard is written and set in stone as written here. It is currently 200 volts DC to 1,000 volts DC. What you see publicly in terms of charging stations range between 50 kilowatts to 350 kilowatts. It's rare to see anything higher than that, but it exists here and there. Um, when it comes to the higher power charging stations, you're going to notice that the conductor sizes are about the same size. Uh, but the way they achieve the higher currents through the conductor itself is by adding that liquid cooling. I wanted to clarify that for this video to talk about how we're going to achieve megawatt charging. So now, for the MCS standard, which is being developed by an international organization known as Charin, uh, and it's still pending final specifications, but it's coming. Uh, currently, it's set to a 200 volts DC to 1250 volts DC output. So you have that higher voltage. That allows you to achieve a higher power output. It'd be nice to see maybe higher than 1250. We'll see what happens. So in currently development, you have a level one, a level 2A, a level 2B, and a level three. So I'm just gonna talk about level one and, and level three DC charging for megawatt charging from the bottom and the top. So for level one, that's an output of 1,000 amps. And if you push in approximately 1,000 volts DC, that's one megawatt. Now, in order to achieve one megawatt in the CCS standard, the only option that you have is to increase the power to beyond 1,000 amps, or roughly about 1,000 amps. And in order to do that, you're going to have to extend the size of the cable. Uh, when you do that, you're going to have to add additional liquid cooling because you're limited by how, si how much you can add, as well as the conductor size. But the problem is, is as you get larger, it's going to be too heavy, it's going to be too large. It just doesn't make sense, which is why you see uh, the move towards the megawatt charging standards. In addition, the current vehicles that exist on the market can accept that amount of power through the inlets. They're limited to approximately three to 400 amps, uh, far and few between, maybe a little bit more. Uh, for the megawatt charging, you see a new handle that can accept that 3,000 amps of current. We're focused primarily roughly in the level one category for our uh, XTXP. Uh, and we're able to achieve that via similar size cable. The cable has a little bit different properties in terms of liquid cooling, but the conductors are roughly the same size for us to achieve that 1,000 amps. Now the question is, what are we going to see when it comes to 3,000 amps in the conductor? Stay tuned for more.